guys welcome back to my channel today i am showing you how i did this youthful and colorful summery look using bright colors like coral pink and green if you like what you see please keep watching i've already primed my eyes using the bp 50 concealer and powder the hero of this look is my very loved and famous leeks also special palette I'm using that brown camel colored shade and the transition shade on the lid. Then I'm going to go in with a light pink coral shade from the same palette with the same fluffy brush and I'm buffing it on top of the brown color in circular motions and pin sweep wipe motions. This is to add a hint of pink above the crease. This adds a beautiful gradient of colors and the crease color will look beautifully blended in. Into this bright and more intense coral on a crease brush, I'm applying it in circular motions and windsweep wiper motions to my crease. I need to build up the color slowly using windsweep wiper motions and circular motions as it deposits and buffs color in a way that provides the best color payoff. We don't need a precise crease here, so buff away and build up the color till you're happy with it. Next, going into that cream shade, on a fluffy brush, I'm highlighting my brow bone and buffing the light coral above my crease into it, creating a smooth transition. Then, using that shimmery rose gold color, I'm using my fingers to get the most intense payoff and I'm applying it to the inner corners of my eye. For my pop of color in this look, I'm using a stunning green called Swimming by MAC and applying it to my eyelid with a flat shader brush while trying to blend it into the lower part of my crease. Parting the color to layer it up since I want a more intense payoff. I'm going to take a drop of my L'Oreal Hydro Fresh Mask in Lotion and I'm going to dip my brush loaded with my MAC Swimming Eyeshadow into it and I'm applying that to my lid for a foil look. I first went in with a wash of green so the foil green would have something to blend into and would look blotchy. I'm going to blend it all in once again. Then I'm using my Makeup Academy Unprecious Skin Highlight in Pink Lights as my brow bone highlight. But since it looked a little off, I went in with my Merry Luminizer as a champagne highlight. I'm using my trusted BB in Gen Eyeliner to create the slightest wing and thinly line my eyes very close to my lashes. This gives an illusion of thicker lashes. I'm using my L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Mascara as a wash before I went in with falsies, which I did off camera. Sorry guys, I need more practice for this. I did my foundation in a different way than usual and you can see that experiment in a separate video when you click that picture on top. I'm using my color bar shade stick. It's a cream eyeshadow for in blush for my lower lash line. After applying it, I'm blending it out with my fingers. This will ensure that the other colors that go on it on with good payoff. I'm using the same coral eyeshadow to buff the color bar eyeshadow out and add a hint of pink on my lower lashes as well. Then repeating the technique I used to foil my green eyeshadow, I'm, li I'm lining my lower lash line with it. I'm slowly building up the intensity till I'm happy with it. It means applying multiple layers of foil green eyeshadow to my lower lash line. 
just look at my face and you'll know that I'm actually happy with what I've done. To finish off the look, I'm applying the same L'Oreal mascara to my lower lashes. To warm up my face and add some dimension, I'm using the Makeup Academy Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer in shade 2 and I'm using a Real Techniques Multitask Brush to apply it to the outer parts of my face. By the way guys, my birthday is coming up and I have a few cute presents already. Let me know if it, in the comments below if you would like to see a video on that and I'll film one for you. I'm using the Subtle Sleek Rose Gold Blush for this look. Oh, I'm still on the bronzer bronzing up my nose. So I'm using the Sleek Rose Gold Blush for this look and it's going so well with the rest of my makeup. Keeping in with the pink theme, I'm using the same Makeup Academy highlight on the highest parts of my face. That is my cheekbones down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow and I'm also connecting the cheekbone highlight to my eyebrow highlight. For my lipstick, I'm using a light layer of MAC Speak Louder and blotting it with my finger. So the bright lipstick doesn't take away from the eyes. If you'd like to see all my MAC lipsticks in action, I'm going to link that video in the comments, in the description box. Okay, funny story, I did my eyebrows off camera so I could film an eyebrow tutorial as it's most requested. But I really messed it up like you'll see in a minute. Just look at that. And that is it you guys, please ignore my eyebrows, I hope you like the rest and will give it a huge thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching this video, I'll see you soon. Bye guys!